to all of my many friends, also to my many enemies. Once again, this is another episode of Roosevelt Sounds Off. Not going to be before you too long this evening on this Thursday night when I'm doing this broadcast. It's been a long time since I got a chance to put out one. Um, but I wanted to bring you this story um, that I came across a couple of days ago. Um, I wanted to talk about this because many of y'all who know me personally and many of y'all who have been following me on YouTube for the last few years or so know that when it comes down to it that yours truly is very hard against the police and against the legal system of the United States of America. Matter of fact, um, it's been many times that I have said, and if case you know you didn't know I said it, I'll say it again, that I feel that the laws in this country are worse than the laws in a Islamic nation led by Sharia law, and worse than a communist nation like North Korea or China, because most definitely we do have more people locked up here in the United States than any other place on the face of the earth. But this story just proves some of the stuff that I say and why I feel that this is deserving in this case. The story that I'm going to bring you um, took place on last Friday and it comes out of Pennsylvania. And it's the story of a young lady um, who's 27 years old who was working at a dollar store named Kiana Davis. Um, she was 27 and she had just received her tax return and I guess she had a few thousand dollars or whatever it was on her and she was telling some of her co-workers you know including you know one who she was working with named Leah Whitley and you know all her co-workers including this Leah Whitley were all happy for her and everything but then when they broke up Leah Whitley went in the back and called on two friends of hers and said that this girl, you know, who I work with has a couple of thousand dollars on her because she just received her taxes. I'm going to need you all to take care of that. And pretty much set it up after work that this girl be robbed. So what happened was after work, I guess the robbery didn't go as planned. I guess she was walking down the street in the car with these two guys in it. Dane Taylor, um, who's in his 20s, and another one named... Um, Cajun, I'm um, trying to think of his last name or whatever too because I have to strictly do the whole thing by memory. But I do remember the first name is Cajun. Um, drove up to her and I guess they thought that they, she was just what hand over the purse or whatever. Though instead she fights for it and then one of them, I think it's Cajun who, um, you know, from what I've heard in the story, has sh shot her like twice. And she ended up dying later on. And, of course, you know, all three are arrested because the guy who was the getaway driver, he felt bad about the whole thing. So he went and he just, uh, you know, told the whole story and everything to the police, turned himself in. So the police ended up getting or uh, arresting Leah Whitley and um, their other friend, Cajun, and, of course, you know, Dane Taylor. So basically, it's three young people who are in their 20s whose life now is basically ruined because look at what kind of stuff that they had done. This young lady, Kiana Davis, 27 years old, a single mother, actually worked for a living. She wasn't out there trying to figure out how to pull robberies, how, how to rob anyone, or how to set somebody up. Um, no, she was out there actually trying to work for hers. And this is the kind of stuff that happens just because you decide to go tell, you know, some other people your good fortune. So also too, you know, especially around this time, which is tax time, I feel a whole lot of you all need to keep a whole lot of the stuff that you are doing with this tax money that you're receiving to yourself. You shouldn't even be telling your own family this kind of stuff. Because as many times that even people in your own family could pretend like they are happy for you and, you know, happy you, that you are receiving money or you happy that you have won a lawsuit or happy that you're receiving your tax return. And there's many people in their own families who set them up. And to me, this is just crazy because you have uh, two or three children now who are orphaned. And, you know, you have Kiana Davis, who's now deceased, and you have these three young people whose lives are ruined and pretty much are 
you know, garbage. And it seems like they're now going to be slaves to the criminal justice system, which I speak against, which is the American criminal justice system. They're going to be slaves now to the American criminal justice system for the rest of their life as a result of whatever it was that they did. As badly as I talk about police and policing, as badly as I talk about the criminal justice system, I feel that us who are citizens, that we, I, we, we definitely, you know, us who have been on this earth any time, us who have lived through some things, us who have seen some things, and even people like myself who have been victims of police corruption. I feel that we know that it's a bad system. We know that it's a crooked system. We know the American justice, crim the criminal justice system is an evil system. Probably the most evil and most crooked in the whole entire world. But at the same time, you cannot be doing some of these kind of things. You can't, you, you can't be doing it. You have to do your part. You have to stay away from committing these kind of crimes. This is just absolutely terrible that somebody lost their life over a few funky ass thousand dollars. But it just goes to show you, like I said, you can't tell everybody your hopes. You can't tell everybody your dreams. You can't tell everybody whenever you accomplish anything good. Golly, if I were her, I wouldn't have said anything about my money. Whatever is your money or if you got a raise on your job or if you got... An income tax return, that's enough information just to keep to yourself. If you want to talk to somebody, go and talk to God about it. That's it. Because telling these people, set her up to be robbed. So yes, I might come down on hard, hard on police and policing in the court system, but I'm going to come down hard on savagery, you know, if that's a word. When I see savagery, and people acting stupid and people acting bogus like the case in these three people. Leah Whitley, their friend Cajun and um, her other friend Dane. It just doesn't make any kind of sense. You, you know, uh, don't hardly know too much of what to say anymore because when I heard this story a few days ago, this story made me very, very angry. Because I, I just think that this this is this is terrible. That you have two children orphaned, and you have somebody who has lost their life over this thousand dollars, and the three people who did it now because of what they did, now their lives are gone because now they're slaves forever to the American criminal justice system. Because a whole lot of you all are surprised, are probably wondering why I'm using the word slave. Because it basically is a little something that many people don't know. And if you don't know, um, then you need to pay attention. You need to even watch this movie. Maybe for many of y'all who have a Netflix account, look up this movie on Netflix called 13. Where it talks about somewhere about the 13th Amendment that says slavery was abolished. You know, back in 1865, whenever that was abolished. Whenever Lincoln freed the slaves. But it gives a caveat there. It says, unless, there's an unless there, you are duly convicted of a crime. So therefore, if you have been duly convicted of a crime, or if you're under some kind of a form of court supervision, in the eyes of the law, and in the eyes of the Constitution, you are a slave. You're not free. Well, golly, I mean, even us who think that we're free out here or something are not really free. I consider myself to be a slave to this American system. I'm pretty sure many of you all consider yourselves to be slaves. We're all slaves to, to this Ameri this evil American system. But if you are definitely duly and convicted of a crime, you are a slave in the eyes of the Constitution, in the eyes of uh, the law. It's my, my point is, it's hard enough to make it in this American justice system already ready as it is. Don't go and play into these people's hands and commit crime and end up a slave to the criminal justice system. 
all over some stupid thousand, a few thousand dollars. Something that, you know, you could easily like work for, uh, you know, or even hustle for, but you want to go and take it from somebody else. Just doesn't make any kind of sense. It's just crazy. So I just had to give my short opinion about that. Um, if anybody um, likes this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And be sure to um, subscribe and share the video. And stay tuned to the channel for more content. I'll see everybody on the next video. Peace and blessings to all.